How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be showing how to unlock the diamond Jackie Robinson that was just released today. So there are a variety of missions that you have to complete whether it's conquest or online and then there is also an exchange mission that you'll have to complete. You'll have to exchange Dodgers, first base, second base, third base, and left field for 42,000 uh, worth of points. Now those are all separate uh, things right there so exchange Dodgers and uh, separate first baseman so first baseman from other teams second baseman from other teams it's kind of confusing but you'll have to complete all those online moments or at least most of them in order to unlock the diamond Jackie Robinson I'll show you how that works towards the end here as I'm going to complete a lot of these missions actually all of the moments in this video and show you some tips and tricks on how to go ahead and complete some of these. So here are the stats. The gold one is not really that great and some of the missions with the gold one are a little bit more challenging than the missions with this diamond Jackie Robinson. This diamond Jackie, Jackie Robinson is really good though. I mean, uh, he doesn't really have the most power versus right, but 71 power versus left with high vision and contact is certainly going to be useful. He'll have uh, silver fielding in left field and 78 speed, so that's nice. Here I'm going through the exchange uh, missions right now. I'm just looking to exchange as all these players as possible. As you can see, you can exchange any Dodgers players regarding regardless of their position and then other teams as well. Uh, the positions that Jackie Robinson played. So I think this is pretty cool. It's a nice way to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day. No, Jackie Robinson isn't the best card in the game and it's not his best version, but it is a free diamond for people that are just looking to grind the game out, play some conquests, play some missions online. And the missions online aren't really that challenging. You need to tally a couple hits and then also steal a few bases with the gold Jackie Robinson in order to unlock the diamond. So once you complete all of these missions, you should be looking at about 65 stars or 65 evolution points within this program but uh, some of these moments are a little bit challenging this first one is not really that difficult you just have to get on base you have to just tally one hit a couple of them are simple like that where you just have to get on base or get on base a couple of times within a game and stuff like that the ones that are more challenging are the extra base missions and the total base missions where you have to accumulate seven total bases with this gold Jackie Robinson in one game. That one is probably the toughest one to do. All the other ones I was able to complete within the first couple of tries. Uh, the, the two home run mission is a little bit challenging as well, but you're using the diamond one in that moment so that is helpful anyway i want to take you through all these different moments here these first few are pretty easy as you just get on base a few times the stealing bases is pretty easy as well i'll show you how to complete that i didn't have a clip right there but i will show you how to complete the stolen base missions in this video and in uh later on in this clip so this is one of the moments that is the toughest one the tally seven total bases play as jackie robinson seven total bases in this nine inning player locked game so what you're looking to do is at least hit a double or a triple in your first at bat you're going to really need to be patient because this jackie robinson only has 30 something power against righty so luckily i got a perfect line drive that's the perfect start right here. And this took me, you know, 20 tries or so to go ahead and complete. So this is very challenging. Luckily, they threw it away there. I got a triple on the very first at bat. Now that's big because my second at bat, I'm up in the bottom of the third inning. So we get up to bat within the next few innings. You want to try and get as many at bats as possible. And the more runs you score early in the game, the better off. Now, this runner did not advance, so I should have had two triples, but Jock Peterson only has 30-something speed, and that's going to happen. So, anyway, I need only two more total bases. I need a couple base hits or a double. So, that's kind of what I'm looking to get. That was a nice, solid swing. Good okay. Um, good exit velocity for a 35-power hitter, but now I just need one more single. So, this is where I need to clutch up. But luckily, I'm in the bottom of the fifth inning. We've scored 11 runs, so we've kind of gone through the order a handful of times. This is just pure luck, but at the same time, I have to wait until I get a pitch over the middle of the plate. Because we've scored so many runs, you never know if this is a new pitcher. You don't know quite where his confidence is at. So, I decided to check it. Press R2. But most importantly, I'm just looking for a pitch over the plate, something that I can drive. That was low in the zone, but I went down and got that one. That was a pretty low pitch. Luckily, I didn't hit a ground ball, 
but he does have a pretty high contact attribute as well as vision. So I went four for four in that game with a double, a triple, and two singles. I should have had uh, two triples, but the base runners will kind of mess you up a little bit in this one. But that was by far the most challenging mission for me throughout this entire uh, sequence of missions. This next one, you need to uh, tally a few base hits within two games. So it's like five base hits and maybe a stolen base. So when we get to the stolen base, there's one particular mission where I think it is the most challenging, where you have to hit, uh, oh, actually this is just five hits in two games. So this is even easier than what I was talking about. So there is one mission that is the most challenging and that is the mission where you need two doubles and one stolen base. But you're using the diamond Jackie Robinson as well. We're getting pretty close to that. I will wait. But you want to try and get as many hits as you can in that first game. If it's a multi-game moment, you're trying to knock out the toughest parts of that multi-game moment in the very first game. So that way, I only needed one base hit in the second game, got the mission complete, and I didn't end up striking out at all, which is good. So that allowed me, once you complete a few of those moments and missions, exchange, all that good stuff. If you decide to complete the online missions first, then you might be able to unlock this Jackie Robinson, this gold version that way. But nonetheless, once you get to a certain threshold, you unlock this Jackie Robinson. But another thing to keep in mind is that you get three equipment items for free. Now the bat skin is a general equipment item that you'll be able to unlock, but you'll be able to get a diamond bat grip and diamond socks. So that's, that is key right there. So this is a Let's get into this moment right here. This is the two homer moment, and luckily I completed this on my second try. I power swung on both of these swings and hit two really good, no doubt, home runs in a row at Forbes Field. Now we are playing at Forbes, so that's what makes that moment a little bit more challenging. That field is terrible, and I thought I would have to hit inside the park home runs, but luckily I got two really good power swings squaring up the baseball. This next moment is uh, just tally one hit, and this is on veteran. A lot of these moments are on the easier difficulties, but uh, this is also the team that you're going up against for the two doubles mission. So the Cardinals do have some pretty good defensive outfielders, and this is probably uh, the second hardest mission in my opinion because you have to get two doubles in one game and you have to steal a base. So that can be challenging because sometimes you get runners in front of you and you're not able to take off. So luckily in this situation, I got a double in the first at bat in the top of the first inning. Now I want you to keep an eye on what uh, what I'm doing with my left stick on the top right corner. As you can see, I'm aiming to the left to return to the base if he decides to pick me off. Then once he moves towards home, I am immediately going towards third with the stick. So right here, I'm getting a good jump and he ends up striking out. So I would have been able to steal that base two times. He fouled off the first one and then also struck out. But I also would have been able to get back on a pickoff move. So in this same game, I hit another double, top of the seventh inning, and now we really need to steal this base. I don't know if I'm gonna get another at bat. So hopefully it doesn't put him in a three, two count. Hopefully it doesn't uh, you know, swing and put a ball in play, something like that. But I want you to take a look. I'm doing the same thing and here I get a perfect jump and he gets a good speed boost animation there and I'm in there easily. So I was able to steal a couple bases without a throw in these moments. The stolen bases did not give me any trouble, but the two doubles in that game while getting a stolen base makes it a little bit more challenging. So anyway, this next one, you need to uh, tally a few extra base hits and hit a certain amount of uh, regular hits as well. So I was able to do so three hits, a double and two RBIs. In this next one, we need a couple doubles or a couple hits and a, a few stolen bases as well. So this is a multi-game moment. I'm looking to uh, get on second here, try and get the extra base hit out of the way, and then of course steal third. I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did previously. This is uh, tally four hits, a couple extra base hits I believe, and steal a few bases so some good missions here i wanted to show you that i was ready for the back pick if he tries to pick me off i'm already using that left stick towards the left and anyway i was able to uh, complete that one so we end up reaching gold level one so we also will have a 99 overall player to select in that choice pack i'm going to be choosing ryan sandberg but i will also include that in this video i figured uh try and grind these moments out, try and help you guys unlock this Jackie Robinson, as well as try to complete these last few moments for the XP and this uh, 
these diamond equipment items and try to earn that Ryan Sandberg. So I'm excited to be a level one gold and to get that card for ranked seasons. He has done some damage against me and he's really good in the field. Honestly, a five tool player that I'll be looking to use probably in the leadoff spot. But now I had, as you can see, I have earned what's what says 65 total program points. Now it says 30 out of 70 in stage two, but I've already completed stage one for 35 points so i'm looking at 65 i'll still need 15 more so one of those missions whether it's conquest whether it's online to figure out what the attributes are on those stance socks as you can see right there at 80 program stars the jackie robinson looks really good at 95 program stars i'm going to go ahead and unlock him eventually but I believe I'll have to try and get those hits with rookie legend Jackie Robinson as well as stolen bases with rookie legend Jackie Robinson. So those are not really things I'm looking to do right now. I'm looking to try to complete those uh, later on or potentially in battle royale, an event, uh, something like that. I know you're not able to use legends in the event right now and you won't be able to use legends in the next one because it's going to be a prospect event. So if you want to invest in some prospects, I believe they're uh, going to be able to use those team affinity prospects as well. But there are some good prospects on the market. You might be able to flip those and make a good amount of stubs. Anyway, I'm going to select this Ryan Sandberg here in this pack. I uh, didn't really get anything. I haven't really gotten any good things out of these packs recently, out of these free regular the show packs. But I have pulled several diamonds, so I can't complain there. Here is a high overall 99 diamond Ryan Sandberg, and I'll be making a debut video with him in ranked seasons, probably on Hall of Fame difficulty. Until next time, peace out.